can be sure of in late November is that Clinton High School will still be playing playoff football. The Dark Horse is playing Graham on Friday night, second round of the state 2A playoffs. Clinton will carry an undefeated record into this game, and this could be another of those championship years. Here's more from Clinton from Bob Holiday. Even the statue honoring Clinton football looks imposing. The team answers to the nickname Dark Horses. Most years, though, Clinton runs at the front of the pack and sends great athletes to college. From the horses' 96 and 97 state champion teams, Willie Parker now gains yards at Carolina, sometimes running behind James Faison. 
Quarterback Brian Peterson has now become a top receiver at NC State. And Leonard Henry runs to daylight and makes his own daylight at East Carolina. And I look forward to Saturday afternoon so that I can turn the TV on. And in most cases, those guys are on TV somewhere. It's a big thrill. They don't know how happy they've made an old man to be able to see them perform and do that well. Old dark horses never die. Former players like Fuzzy Lee become very interested alumni. They never forget about the dark horses. They always read the papers. They always come back telling us, what happened to get such and such team, man? What happened to you? You didn't make this tackle, and they look at you. They love to talk about their great teams in Clinton. This year's team could be one that folks talk about. The first string offense frequently just plays a half or so. The defense rarely allows points. Seasons of 10 and more wins come to Clinton with the regularity of tax bills from the IRS. Fuzzy Lee and Jarris McPhail beget Elsie Stevens, who beget Parker, Peterson, and Leonard Henry. When Leonard was in the seventh and eighth grade, he came over in the afternoons and he was a manager part-time. Ever since you were a child, you wanted to be a dark horse. And now a new generation wants to live the dream. Dark horse football is in good hands as we look at the future from afar. Bob Holliday, WRL TV 5 Sports.
right, tonight we crown our 2001 champion of our high school football fabulous 15, the number one high school football team in our area, the Clinton Dark Horses, who on Saturday in Chapel Hill defeated Burlington Cummings to win the state 2A championship. They finished 15 and 0. The final fabulous 15, Clinton, Richmond County, Southview, Northern Nash, Wilson Hunt, Wallace Rose Hill, Douglasburg, Garner, Northern Durham, Scotland County, Southern Durham, North Edgecombe, Apex, North Duplin, and Midway. Well, Clinton is the fabulous 15 champion earlier this week, Bob Holliday in Sampson County to present our 17th annual trophy. Saturday, the Clinton Dark Horses won their four state 2A championship in 12 years. Today, they win their fourth Fabulous 15 trophy in 12 years. No school in the TV5 viewing area has won this trophy four times. We may have had some better teams here, but we haven't had a team here that's had any more heart than this bunch, and they never thought they could lose. Clinton fell behind against Graham in the second round of the playoffs and rallied. The horses fell behind coming Saturday in the state 2A championship and rallied. Herbert Dixon carried Clinton in the second half. His touchdowns could be attributed to his skill, but also his team's incredible chemistry. We were real close, and we were like a family. It was more like a family than just going out and playing football. We were all together. And Clinton has the backing of a proud community. As we gathered for the trophy presentation in front of the horse at Dark Horse Stadium, dozens of parents and townspeople cheered the team off. The fans are everything. Uh, that's what makes the team so good. The fans are so supportive. A number of seniors will depart now, but it sounds as if there is plenty of enthusiasm for another championship run. In Clinton, Bob Holliday, WRAL-TV5 Sports.